Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Jagmon Chauhan and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Australia. Uh, the topic of my talk today is with me, Reading and Postgate is a waste user organization, and this is a collaborative work with the University of Australia, uh, SMU, and uh, SMU. So, uh, we introduce uh, in this paper a uh, reading gesture and then a uh, new behavior model to show the application. So, what I mean by that can be seen in the following uh, video. So, what we propose here is that uh, users should, uh, should be able to authenticate themselves or gain access to their personal device by uh, just reading into the microphone of the, of the device, of their personal device. So, why is it another authentication candidate? Uh, we already had so many of them, uh, uh, but the reality is that some of them uh, had some uh, flaws. Uh, for example, uh, passwords are anonymous, but some we you know, had many of them, and uh, we have we call them most of the times, and uh, they can be anonymous. And at times, uh, it can be painful. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, physiological pains, biometrics such as fingerprint, uh, can be spoofed easily, and uh, other system based on IDs. That is, uh, they need some expensive hardware, special hardware. So, we think that uh, uh, we need some other solutions can be secured in the fiber and the front office. That's where the benefit comes in. Uh, so, why we focus on the religion? So, why we talk about the white world? So, the, I think the answer lies in uh, existing uh, physiological and medical uh, research. So, uh, for example, this research shows that uh, the shape of the trachea. Your gender, age, or weight uh, affects the uh, way you breathe. And uh, recently, uh, uh, using mass spectrometry, uh, some of show that uh, that uh, breath composition is unique on individual. So this led us to believe that uh, something like a green paper communication might work on where we So here I will uh, introduce the uh, briefly the smart picture. So suppose we have a final user. And he does, and he first he does a series of very gestures uh, on microphone of device. Uh, and that goes to a uh, segment, uh, segmentation module where uh, all the various uh, gestures are uh, usually divided into individual gestures first. And then, and then, uh, then we uh, extract features from each individual gesture. Uh, we basically extract GFCC, microphone frequency, gesture proficient features. And their delta and double delta features. Uh, and then we compare, uh, we send these features to two different kind of models. First is a model which is based only on the data from the user. The other model uh, is uh, based on the uh, way of the data of all other uh, users. And uh, the model we use here is a model called the model. And finally, we get a log like ratio, and if that ratio is different, well, we say that the user uh, is the right one and you already get the user, otherwise the user is rejected, is denied the access to the system. Uh, this is how we collect our data. We have two participants, two females and eight males, uh, age of 20, 20 and 25. Uh, and uh, we basically focus on three different gestures, sniff, normal breathing and deep breathing, because we think that they are going to perform the other complex gestures. Uh, and as you can see on the left, uh, a user has to uh, hold microphone very close to their nose and breathe, and the signal is recorded by the, the lack of there and then the other of the current body. Uh, basically, we did three different sessions. Uh, I mean, the uh, first two sessions we collected 20 samples, and the last session we collected 20 samples. The last session was done uh, to see the short term variation, the short term impact uh, of uh, breathing gesture. Uh, and in total, we collected sam samples. Uh, so, uh, so we used first fifty samples from session one and two for training, and then we did uh, deeper session testing and deeper session testing. Uh, so, deeper session testing was done using data from session two only, while deeper session testing was done uh, using uh, data from three, uh, session three. Uh, and then we tested two different scenarios. Uh, the first scenario is single sampling. We have only Check the accuracy or verify the user on the basis of one sample. Uh, in majority voting, we, uh, we saw that uh, we checked the, the accuracy of the system on the basis of three different uh, samples. And we measured the uh, accuracy of the system in terms of two uh, metrics. Uh, so, first was uh, first is two positive rate, and second is four positive rate. So, two 
push your brain needs and then pulse runs more less more is uh, actually accelerating the system. So the eugenic reason is the system itself. But it's all pushing brain means that someone like Chuck, uh, he's an impersonator and he wants to access the system of war and, and he actually controls the system and believe that he is involved and gets in the next system. So who was great and that is is good for uh, system wise for the uh, high quantum uh, 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 so now uh, I will discuss four research questions we asked in our study. First is are features unique and what features Second question we ask is the authentication accurate to the system for a uh, short Then it's focused on the question that is the authentication between uh, uh, their predictions uh, and their attacks. And the far, uh, last question we ask is that uh, is this kind of authentication uh, robust uh, in different contextual uh, uh, environments? And in fact, I will try to answer these questions. So uh, in this slide, we will first hear uh, sound and then we will see a uh, response spectrogram for different people uh, and we will see how they are different. This is how we watch the sound. And we see the response spectrogram. And then this is how we are And then we get uh, So if you look at closely, the waveform what you as well as spectrum suggests that you can X and Y are quite different. And the difference here you see uh, more closely comes from the fact that uh, the power is distributed differently across the uh, frequency, uh, different frequency regions. So I will come to that in the next slide. So here again, in this uh, graph uh, we see uh, uh, the power distribution in different frequency ranges for many users. Show the frequency in hertz, while y axis uh, shows the power. And if you see it, a uh, red rectangle, you can see that uh, although in other frequency range uh, the distinction is not quite obvious, but in this, uh, let's say, 100 kilohertz, uh, uh, the distinction is quite obvious. And so we believe that uh, features which are based on these uh, power frequency and stuff can be used. Accurately classify the user uh, uh, on the basis of radio changes. So, next I will explain how we can this So, this is a part of the Boston Pipeline. This is a common knowledge in the reading book, but I'm just giving a quick recap. In terms of the gesture signal, we uh, divide them into uh, multiple frames of 20 seconds. Uh, we do a fast media transform in them and we get spectrum. And on that spectrum, we apply to the bank. Like uh, sort of bandwidth like, like uh, the bank, and then we what happens in the filter bank processing is that uh, you get uh, multiple for that uh, frequency band, and we calculate it in each of these filter band, and then we calculate uh, in next step we calculate the log energy of uh, integer energy each frequency band, and then you apply this key to get the final uh, uh, final frequency which there are gamma so if you see here uh, in the next slide, I have shown it differently because you see in the figure on the, the left, uh, the energy which is shown in black here uh, is quite different in this frequency. So uh, now I will talk about the accuracy of the system. So uh, this is our system accurate for the signal. So uh, this graph shows uh, 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 the accuracy and uh, the two positive rate and Possible rate for uh, 20 different people. You uh, see the average here. So the x axis shows the EM components and the y axis shows the, the true possible rate. Uh, this is called gate ready gesture. Uh, I'm not sure how it is. And this is the results are based on the intersection and the intersection uh, majority of the exam. You can see here that in red, focus on the red part, and uh, when the, the, the EM component number 20, with the highest accuracy. Uh, so uh, it shows that radiation can provide high accuracy in the first case. Uh, and uh, although I have not shown the what's possible to reserve, but they are very good. We also 
you can see that uh, the gestures and the activity uh, of these gestures remains very stable. You see a small drop, big focus, and it's not moving. Okay. Next slide. Uh, 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 answer the question many is between target attacks. So uh, uh, we focus on two different kinds of target attacks, first of all, impersonation attack and second was the real attack. So in impersonation attack, what we do is that the user gets an audio of a uh, target user and then tries to mimic it when accessible to the uh, target user. While in real attack uh, uh, we capture the audio of the presentation of target user from a certain distance in the smartphone, let's say this is one meter, uh, and then we try and then we replay uh, the captured audio uh, to gain access to the uh, target user. So uh, you can hear three counts. So first is from the actual user. See, this is the uh, one from the first user. And then uh, finally, this will be played out, which is not played out in this video. When you look at the results, uh, we can take the three of points here. So, the first point is that uh, the percentage of successful attacks in both the cases was very low. So, it was uh, only 2 to 3 percent in the percentage scenario. Uh, I think it was only lower. is actually within And finally, I will talk about the conceptual actual space which is very far if the big big tent is over the big extent of potential changes. So we have made three different types of settings here. Uh, first is like if you do this with the user and the microphone, which is more than the Second type of experiment uh, we did was like uh, there was a ambient noise in the background. Finally, uh, we ask them to create two activities. Uh, like they have fixed layers, they have to walk in and they stand and perform the research. Uh, this is the results here. So, uh, how, uh, what we can do from here, here is like, uh, just uh, the system works very well. Like, uh, this is the goal and the microphone is really like, very close. This is the security. Uh, and uh, it was well with the campaign was by the And we also see that uh, as the, the effect of uh, physical activity, I mean, as the effort increases, then it goes down. So uh, by standing there, it's high, by being there. So, uh, final question of the presentation, I would say, uh, I would like to keep saying that before we keep on the presentation, we can't come, which is very crazy. Uh, So I encourage my 